Hi everyone, this is Daryl Lani with uh, not the head coach, but boy, pretty close to the head women's basketball coach. Of course, the head coach is Greg Bruce. This is his uh, son, Kyle. Kyle, welcome. Uh, first of all, before you know, we talk about the team, uh, the league, etc. Tell everyone what you do for your dad in this program. I am in my third year as a coach here at Western. Uh, I do the film exchange. Uh, I do some scouting reports. I will do um, our up media uploads and downloads uh, for film. I also take stats in practice. I keep, you know, I kind of keep practice running, keep it in order. Uh, and, you know, that's basically it. I'm more of a behind the scenes than I am, you know, hands on. But I do everything I can to help the team. Your dad uh, jokingly says you're the only one that can run the computer and, and do any of the any of the things that are difficult at all. Yeah, he takes the credit, but I'll tell you what, behind the scenes, you would never know it. <laughs> all right, let's talk about your team. Now, you played a lot of games, started early back in the end of October, uh, so you've had a lot of games, a lot of practice sessions. Uh, t tell me about what you've been working on. What is your dad and the staff concerned with with this team? Where do you need to get better? Well, uh, recently, after the Simpson game, we put a lot of emphasis on defense. Uh, we, let, we allowed them to shoot 24% in the second half, which is phenomenal. But in the first half, they were getting way too much dribble penetration, we felt. Uh, so we definitely focused this week on our man-to-man -man defense, getting our principles back in order. Uh, we are also working on our offense, uh, which is still a work in progress. Uh, just trying to stay consistent, um, trying to make sure you know that our players know what they're supposed to do, when they're supposed to do it you know, and uh, the defensive rotation and, you know, the types of movement they have to make, when to be in help, when to be on the ball. And so it's basically kind of been a back to the basics week, uh, if you want to look at it like that. You have an excellent, and I've talked to your dad about this, excellent freshman class. And, and I, I assume you both believe, and, and, or, and or your staff believes, that the faster this freshman class progresses, the better your team is going to be once league season gets underway. Right, that's uh, definitely true. Uh, you know, we, it's been a pleasant surprise. Uh, Hannah Witz has come in and she's played really well. She's our second leading scorer, I believe. Uh, Lori has also played well. It's kind of um, tough for her. She's a freshman playing starting point guard, which is not an easy situation to step into, but she's handled it well. She's tough on herself, um, but she's better, better than she thinks she is. Uh, so she's definitely helping us. And Jamie Richardson's athleticism is definitely something we haven't had. Uh, she leads our team in steals per game and total steals, uh, so she's kind of a defensive nightmare, or for the other team, if you yeah, will. Sure. Um, so it's definitely been a surprise, a pleasant surprise to have them in the program. Lori is uh, Lori Clifford, who's the uh, point guard on the team. <clears throat> These three are all pretty good players, aren't they? They're phenomenal. I believe, like I said, Hannah's our number two, number two scorer, and I think Lori's our number. Uh, four and Jamie might be number five or six, so they're definitely factors. You know, they have uh, their positives, which they bring to the team uh, that we haven't had, which is definitely a step in the right direction for us. Uh, and we definitely are going to build with them. You know, they're they're the foundation of the program uh, for the future, which is you know nice to have them in place because they've had a year with Katie, who's a great player, and Sarah's a great player, and they've learned from them. And I think they'll definitely be able to grow, which yeah. is good. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's uh, take a spin around the league. And uh, we'll start with your travel partner, who is Northwest Nazarene. You saw them earlier. They were over here for a tournament and so forth. Have you comment on them? They're a great team. Uh, they, this is kind of their year. They only lost one player last year. They return, I believe, three all-conference players. Mm -hmm. They're currently 6-1, and one, uh, and they're having a great year. They like to get up and down, play a lot. They play pressure defense. Uh, you know, they're a good team. They are definitely going to be in the tournament. Uh, they might even win the GNAC. They're that good. All right, St. Martins. St. Martins is kind of like us. They um, don't have a lot of athletes, but they play hard. They're scrappy. They have a good coach. They know their strengths. They know their weaknesses. Um, they lost their post player. No, they, I'm sorry. They did not lose their post player. They lost their uh, wing, who was a good scorer. They have their point guard back. She's a good player. She led the nation in free throw percentage last year, I believe. Made 100 and something in a row. Uh, so she's a good player. And they have a really good uh, all-conference player, Dara Zach, plays a four for them. She's yeah. a good rebounder, a good scorer. You know, they're definitely a solid team. You can't, you can't overlook them. Montana State Billings. They lost their best player by far. Uh, Lyra Carpenter's gone. Mm -hmm. She was a phenomenal player. Could not figure out how to guard her to save her lives. But uh, they returned their point guard. She's great. She averaged about 
10 points and six rebounds and five assists and like four steals. She's a good player. Um, so they are, they're kind of searching for identity right now, I think. Uh, they're four and two. But uh, I think once they figure out, you know, their roles and who can do what and who can't do what, I think they'll be a good team also. Seattle Pacific. Another, another power. Uh, they lost their post player, which, which is hurting them because they don't really have, you know, the foundation inside they've had recently. But they have phenomenal guards. Uh, Daisha Henderson might be the best player in the region. She plays the two for them. She's averaging about 18. Uh, she's a good player. She's really good on defense. She plays hard. You know, they're a tough team. They're very well coached. Uh, so and they've been around. They have a lot of experience. They've they've hosted the region the last two years. Didn't win, but they've hosted, which means you're the number one team in the region. So they're definitely very talented. All right, the two Washingtons, uh, Central and Western. Start with Central. Central is, has been up and down lately. They have they've been a good program historically, um, but recently they've been up and down. They're having a tough year this year. They started out one and five. I believe they won their last game though. Um, they have some talent, they have some shooters, they have some wings. Uh, the inside is lacking a little bit. Uh, they lost their point guard. Um, but they're talented, you know, they have some talent. They play hard. Uh, they're scrappy, they're tough, they're physical. So it's it's always a good game playing them because you know you're going to get a battle. Uh, you know it's going to be hard fought. So it's, they're definitely a good team. Western. Western is also very good. They should be in the region as well. Uh, they return uh, most of their players. Jessica Summers was an all-conference player. She got another year. Crystal Robinson was all-conference two years ago. She's coming back from an ACL injury. Ashley Fenimore is a transfer from Central. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, she's now playing. She was an all-conference player at Central. They're stacked. Uh, they are very big, very athletic, uh, very physical. Uh, they're, they're a great team also. They should be at the top of the region as well. Finish it up with the two Alaskas, Anchorage to start with. Alaska Anchorage doesn't get any easier. Uh, they are extremely well coached. This is his, I think, fourth year, and that he hasn't lost more than 20 games combined. Uh, his four years there, so they're very good. They lost their all all American uh, center Rebecca Kilpinski's gone, but they return uh, Nikki Miller, who I think is leading the United in scoring right now. She's really good. Uh, you know, they just have a ton of players. They just come out of the woodwork. Um, they're a great team. They're extremely physical, man-to-man -man defense, 24/7. Uh, you know, they are a tough team. Fairbanks. Fairbanks is struggling right now, to say the least. They're in a, they're, have a first year coach from mm -hmm. high school. Mm -hmm. um, they lost their, one of their best players in history of the program, uh, Sheena Brown. Um, but they were, and they had a lot of injuries last year. I think five or six players tore their ACLs last year. Wow. So they're hurting, but uh, they brought in some transfers uh, and brought and then returned uh, those kids from injuries. So they are struggling right now, but I think they have the talent and uh, they're pretty athletic. So they have the athleticism to battle. They are a really good rebounding team. Um, so if you don't win the battle on the boards, it's going to be a tough game for you. But uh, they're, you know, they're one of the weaker teams, but still, it's not a gimme in the GNAC. Coach Bruce has told me many times that this league is dynamite, and you have just gone through everybody, and obviously it is dynamite. Is this one of the best leagues in Division Two? It is, it is by far one of the best leagues in Division II. Uh, Alaska Anchorage has been in the Final Four the last two years. Seattle Pacific's hosted the region the last two years. Usually we get four or five teams in the region. Um, yeah, the conference from top to bottom is extremely competitive, extremely deep. Uh, it's a battle night in and night out. Yeah, this is by far one of the best leagues in the nation for sure. All right, this has been fun. This is uh, Kyle Bruce, assistant coach, works for his dad, uh, Coach Greg Bruce, and we all know uh, Kyle's the brains of the outfit here and uh, has been with us. We look forward to, we invite all of you to come out and support the Western Oregon women. Many, many, many good games against these teams that Kyle just ran through coming up in the months of January and February. Daryl Lonnie with Coach Kyle Bruce.